So the remote operating center is, <clears throat> is one of our two. So we have two remote operating centers. Come on down the hall. Um, the two remote operating centers allow us to operate our units uh, all over the United States. So we have, we're operating uh, units in Texas from here. Um, these folks can receive, so they receive a call from either the, the, um, the customer or the grid or the queasy, and then they start the units up. They also direct um, you know, certain repairs or certain activities asso uh, associated with maintenance. Um, but they are operators. Uh, they, don't, they don't decide when the machines start. That's you know, from someone else. Um, but they're the ones who operate them. Uh, we're Wattbridge, so our own owner operated units, we're now at a uh, medium size. So as we approach, you know, two gigawatts. So what that means is we have to have a fully redundant center. So we have one of these centers here. We have another center in Houston, Texas. So both of them are uh, fully um, NERC compliant, NERC SIP. Uh, it means they have an overall cage. It means the reason we don't go in is because if we scan that thing and, and we're not authorized, then you have to do an RCA as to why somebody scanned who wasn't authorized. And every single one of us that went in would have to sign in and sign out and do all that kind of stuff. Um, so in addition to that, we have backup power generator for the room. It has its own server system. It has its own internet connection, all that type of stuff to make sure that it's, you know, that it's both secure right, and reliable. And as I mentioned, we've, and we have two centers, which allows us to both remote operate our customer units as well as our own units. And on a day-to-day -day basis, one center is for customer units and one is for our own. That way, there's no question as to whether, you know, did we act on our own machines first, right? Because they're separated and there's different guys working on each, on each of the machines to, to, make, to make sure there's no issue with that whatsoever. However, both sites are continuously monitoring every unit. That way, if a tornado hits this site or a hurricane hits the Houston site, both probabilities, <laughs> um, either site immediately can take over all the machines in the fleet. So it's 100% redundant. Okay? All right. Right this way.